like you you mentioned that and that makes me remember that um i think it's like five years from now i don't remember the exact year but red hat is planning to uh like deprecate x11 from rel so when that happens like that's what we're gonna hear about the commercial applications that just suddenly don't work <laughs> Yeah, and there's definitely a situation where right now people hit a first Wayland issue and then just switch. Yeah. And it's a silent number. You don't know how many people are doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know in metrics from KDE, mm -hmm. um, I know our Wayland numbers are going up and up steadily and we haven't even made it a default. And now it's hitting around 15% or so, which okay. is quite low, but given it's not a default, it's not that bad. Um, except on Fedora. Um, but in other stats are different. Gaming on Linux.com shows Plasma Wayland usage going up and up and up and up. So, yeah, I... But overall, I think Wayland's still way beneath X11. Yeah, it, it depends on... I don't know, because my... I, I did a poll recently amongst my audience, and my audience is the oh, yeah. more techie audience, so it's like, I don't know how accurate that would be the more general um the general people but amongst my audience Wayland was bigger but it, it's like within like 10 percent of like so it and then gnome it's like a lot bigger like they're like much more on the Wayland side but kde i guess because kde yeah. is more of that like hacker desktop like there's more of those people who are like going to have these like 30 year old x11 setups that they just for whatever reason don't want to change. I think also that big passive group, the people who don't follow blogs, mm -hmm. there's no reason to... A lot of people won't have heard of Wayland. A big group of our target ones won't have heard of it, won't care about it. Yeah. And at that point, the default's the only thing that matters. Yes. I think that's a big part of look, uh, uh, with the, the Wayland side. Uh, ab absolutely. Absolutely. And I think... It did it again. Why? Why does Discord keep doing this? Every 20 minutes, it decides that it doesn't want to let you speak. Okay, let's do that again. Hi, we're back. Hello. Hello. Yeah, clearly Discord wants to stay on X11. That's what we're It really, really does. I don't know what's issues. going on today. Um, I mentioned that... Default bigger. That's why Gnome Wayland is way bigger than the X Dog side. I don't know what you're saying after that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So uh, the vast majority of our user base mm -hmm. don't care about X11 or Wayland. Yeah. They won't have even have heard of it. You need to follow developer blogs and or some sort of social media, Reddit or whatever. <laughs> I, there, you can't escape it. But a lot of the people are just getting on with their jobs, just yeah. using it to browse the web or write their thesis or whatever um for those finishing their PhDs. and um so they're not gonna care defaults are the only thing that's gonna matter and i mean we could flip our default it is it again why why did it do it again oh my god i don't know if this is like I, I've not been having any audio issues all day like this it's just discord right now that's causing issues Okay. Hi. Hello. Okay. Go ahead. Continue talking. I mean, we can change the default <laughs> now. We can change the default next release. And it would have been fine. We, I mean, if people with the common cases... All the common cases are fine. I mean, I've been using Wayland and Daily Driver for years. <laughs> Probably be fine. For the majority. But we would definitely have... A vocal minority of people will be upset in that yep. process, and and I I want to find that balance of not upsetting too many people while still getting the majority getting a benefit to Wayland. Yeah. So yep. I think gradual process makes sense, but there's going to be some cut off and some level of compromise where we do upset some people, but hopefully that can be as small as possible. Mm -hmm. Well, on that note, what do you think of the whole? You probably heard that. 
Neil wants to drop the whole X11 side from Fedora KDE. Do where yeah. do you sort of stand on on that yourself? Do you think the KDE is in a state where most people are fine on Wayland, or do you think there are still like areas where you would like to polish up first? I on a technical level, I think it would be fine. Mm -hmm. On a social level, I don't think I necessarily agree with this idea of... I mean, there are things which will regress. Mm -hmm. And motivating them by breaking their stuff is not a policy that I think is very sensible. Right. I mean, in terms of carrot versus stick ways of motivating people, you need to make that carrot bigger and more accessible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm rather than just introduce a bigger stick right. and I mean, making a stuff make, taking away an option uh it will work it's mm -hmm. definitely a way of encouraging people but in terms of if that's the right way to go about things i'm not i'm not sold mm -hmm. And I think everything can be done transitionally. I mean, I know you've been on Wayland by default for a while. I don't know how many of their users then change. And I think having that stat right. would be certainly compelling. I mm -hmm. do like as many stats as possible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Plasma 6 is going to be a big jump in terms of Wayland su support because we've had our toolkit frozen for so, what, for so long and now it's going to get a jump of all the work we've been doing for the last three years. When so, did... And it's going to be better... Sorry. Uh, no, go on. I was just going to ask when um, when did um, Plasma 5 come out? 10 years ago, roughly. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. It, it's, it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm sure someone's going to look it up and go, oh, that's actually nine. I'm anyway. sure. Um, yeah, I, I should know these things, but I'm old. Um, <laughs> Yes. So, is it the right approach? In terms of what you gain versus what you lose, I, it, you, cause you, when you take away X11 and the fallback option, you lose quite a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't see what the gain is other than bullying people into, into um, doing more work. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it's that effort of what other gains are there, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it seems relatively small. Mm, okay. So uh, I'm not I'm not sold on it, but I mean it's, it's not my project. So sure. I mean, sure. I'll tr I I want to make Wayland as good as possible. So if they do that, things don't reflect badly on on, on us, and mm. we'll definitely make sure that happens. And I do trust Neil to have all the information before making whatever your call is. But having fallbacks is good, mm -hmm. in my opinion. And we should change the defaults and just keep increasing our motivation rather than keep increasing a increase a carrot rather than increase a stick. At this stage, is X11 still the default of the project? I mean, in terms of the default, it's what a logger manager has the first time round. Mm -hmm. X11 is the default, okay, but configurable by distros. So, yes, it's a default, mm -hmm. but I would expect every developer to be running Wayland, which also is a problem because then potentially we're introducing X11 regressions. Right. And the sooner we can drop some code, the better. Mm -hmm. it will be, it will be, I mean, Wayland stuff is held back from the fact that we've got some of this X11 stuff. No one's, no one's utilizing some Wayland features because I'm inviting two code paths and that's not always feasible, mm -hmm. or having features that only work in one place, which nobody wants to do. So once we drop X, things will increase with more Wayland features, more reason to actually use Wayland. Mm -hmm. But whether now is the right time. Right. I think we need, we need, from my point of view, we need a few more releases with us being a default from my hat, because we haven't had that. And we'll see that soon. Well, there's still, like, a list of blockers that are, like... I, I don't know what the link for it was, but, like, there is a list of KDE blockers that 
still exists. Yeah. I mean, it's a wiki, so I mean, take it with a grain of salt. Sure, People sure, are sure. adding stuff on there. But, um, yeah, session management's on there. And uh, crash handling is something you might want to bring mm -hmm. up. The color so management thing's also like a big one. Like that's, right. yeah. Uh, and yeah, then... and color management's got a couple of different steps, but basic sRGB um, stuff will be in Plasma 6. Mm -hmm. I've got no doubts about that. And then there's I more... think we'll just see yeah. where we are when we come to a feature freeze and then make a decision based on what information we have then. Mm -hmm. So you don't see a near future where x11 is gone but you see a a near future where it at least well right now you would say that it's sort of the development focus like wayland right now oh, oh un unquestionably yeah mm -hmm. all, all of the developers i'd expect to be on wayland mm -hmm. I and mean, developers of other projects as well yeah. and not just the quinn and plasma people but you know people maintaining color paint or k my money or all of this i want start to see more of those people start using wayland and mm -hmm. 